came in thinking that Ashley was not attractive at all. I knew for a fact I wasn't going to fall in love with her. So I need to go say goodbye to Ashley. I'm going to tell Ashley I need to go home because I really miss my daughter. And it's just too overwhelming at this point. But being real, the reason that I'm leaving is I'm not feeling it for Ashley at all. Will <laughs> you go with me? Mm -hmm. This is gonna feel like. It's like I can't. I'm gonna throw up. I don't know what's gonna happen, but. I just, I can't stop thinking about him. I need to stop, I need to stop thinking about this. Yeah, have you put everything past you with Bentley or are you still hung up a little bit? Um, to answer that very honestly, yeah. I'm still a little bit hung up and I still wonder what could have been because in such a short amount of time, I felt so strongly for him and I was right. so certain. Mm -hmm. And my, you know, like a woman's intuition, I really just feel like there's something more there. Right. But I don't know if I'll ever get to the bottom of that. So, you seem to be taking positive steps forward, but there's something else on your mind. There is something that's on my mind, a lot. A lot more than I want it to be. Yeah, and what is, what is it exactly that's on your mind? Um, I think it's just, Okay, this, I just, this has, I have right. to be open and honest with you right now. I have been thinking a lot lately, um, about something. And I just feel like in order for me to move forward in these relationships, I really need to put this in the past. And I know you're gonna not be happy with me, but... It's Bentley. And what could have been... And I know it's not a good thing, and I don't think it's ideal, and it's not fair to anybody. Right. I think I need to figure out a way how I can close this Bentley thing off, because in the back of my head, it sits there. And I try to repress it, and my head tries to forget about it, but my heart always goes back to it. In times where I need comfort, I yeah. think about him. That's not normal. This isn't going to work. Yes, you're kind of moving forward, but you're kind of not. And that's what I'm so scared you of. You can't have, like, your foot half in the pool and then half in... It's just not... That's not the way it works. I know. You're not going to fall in love like that. This is not going to have a happy ending. There was something there. So what do you want to do? Hey, what are you doing here? He's in this hotel. Shut up. Right now. Are you serious? I can't believe that. I know you're from a little town in Maine, mm. and you seem like a very nice person. Thank you. Were you, you think you were naive? I mean, this, it, would this guy be the definition of a player? Looking back on yeah. it now, I'm going to probably have to say yes. And okay. I think I was a little naive, and I think I saw what I wanted to see. Okay. Yet, you will probably go out with him again, won't you? I'll tell you, I'll tell you what happens, and I'll give you a little tidbit of okay. what's to come. Okay. You know, he left me with, a, with an open door saying dot, 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 and I reached a point where I really mm -hmm. felt like in order for me to make, in order for this to work mm -hmm. for me, in order for me to move forward in some of these relationships, I really need to figure this out, and I see him again. So you're going to see him again. I see him again. So At this point, I had no idea what But you know saying. now, don't you? I know now, but okay. I didn't know then. Yeah, you'd probably still go out with them again. I can't answer that. I want to, but I can't. Really? Um, so, but what happens is not what I expected. Okay.